Hey, Becky. Hi, George. Pretty exciting day, huh? Is it? Did you hear about the verdicts? <gasps> no. Oh, wait, wait. She wouldn't want to record the conversation. Okay. Is Melissa coming? I have no idea. I don't either. I just know April. You got April's yes. email. Yes. Sounds like she had a bad week. Yeah, it does. So she it's needs to get off of the way. Good news. Yes. And she's going to Cape. That's also good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for two weeks. Good. Good for her to be able to get off and relax. Um, the Zoom meeting that's coming, not the meeting, the uh, all boards meeting that's coming up on the 11th wants to decide if, you know, what do, what do people on your board, your committee feel about Zoom or, you know, um, hybrid, remote, or in-person meetings? I guess when, the, when would that start, Becky? When it would start? start? Would it start in July with the new fiscal year? The hybrid, you know, the, the question of what um, it's the question is before the le legislator the legislatures ters are working on a new bill. Um, Grace has been tracking it. We think, you know, so it, it's in progress. They're considering um, making hybrid meetings mandatory, oh. um, and that's one issue. And. So what the select board wants to have a conversation with everybody because Grace has been reporting that there's very, very strong opinions on different committees and they are not consistent in one way. They are all over the place. Um, some people really want to go back to in person. Some are committed to Zoom. Some are committed to the hybrid meetings, even if they haven't ever gone to one or held one. Um, our problem with hybrid me meetings is currently we can only hold one at a time mm. um, downstairs. Oh, right. Um, we have more limited space than we did pre-COVID because an, um, a meeting space was taken over for an office. Um, so all we have is the downstairs and possibly the conference room available which are small spaces. And then once, if we can secure the spaces, then we have to worry about the technology right. for the hybrid. Um, and the technology in the main room cost $3,000 originally. So if we're, and you know, in the smaller room upstairs, we'd have to, you know, equip it with something smaller. But so there would be, you know, there's thought required into trying to um, make hybrid available. And okay. So the reason I was wondering was I just wanted to see how Ann and well, Melissa and April felt also, but um, George, I just want to know how you folks, I'm going to go to that meeting and you guys are welcome to come if you want, but I just want to know how you felt as a board about, about that. I don't know if this should be, I don't know if we should, um, put this as part of our, put it on the agenda. I didn't think about it, but I just wanted to know personally how you guys felt. I I, I personally, um, first of all, I really like online. I think it's great. Um, I, I like online for two reasons. One, uh, I like the convenience of it. And also I travel a lot. And so I'm able to participate. And there have been some pretty critical meetings that I really want to be a part of. And I was either in San Francisco or New Jersey, where my kids are. And I was very happy to be able to be involved in those meetings. And I would not have been able to. Now, in a hybrid meeting, I would. So, you know, I, I'd be okay with a hybrid meeting. And the only other thing I'll say is, um, so that's my opinion. I, I like online. And I'd be okay with hybrid, of course. But I wouldn't like necessarily, I don't, for me, I wouldn't choose to have to have all our meetings be in person. Um, the downside to virtual meetings for me is I, I'm not always a fan of the way we communicate. On the finance committee in particular, everybody has to raise their hands. And, and I'm the kind of person who likes to just, I got a thought and I want to get it out. You know, and I don't I want to lose it. it. <laughs> and I got to put my hand up and I got to wait, you know. And, you know, so I like, and, and there's body language. I mean, there's body language in virtual meetings too, but I just, live, I, the, I like the live because the spontaneity I think is a little better. 
but I would vote for keeping online uh, meetings as an option. And certainly I'd be supportive of hybrid if, if that's what the majority, the, you know, the community thought would be best. How about you, Dan? You know, I'm open. I think, I think hybrid is the fairest, you know, to, to say one or the other might leave out a contingent of people. I will say that on this committee, I think Zoom has been helpful for sharing documents. Like when we were doing that collaborative editing and looking, it it's very helpful to do that online. Um, I mean, obviously, if we were in person, we could set up a computer and we could all be looking at it. But um, it does have that uh, plus. So you have a person like George who can just put it up there like that. <laughs> Becky. Yeah, well, you know? everybody knows how to do that. <laughs> Sorry, Ann, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, that's totally fine. But I, you know, I'm uh I, I'm I'm happy, I'm happy with anything. I do think sometimes, and Becky, it's interesting what you said about hybrid. That sounds like that could be a real issue for the town. Um, it is awkward, I think, you know, having done hybrid meetings, if you have four people in person and somebody's on Zoom. And so I, I mean, they're functional, but it is. Um, if we had, if we were going one way or the other, I think I'm with George and I would do online because I just, I do think the pros outweigh the cons. Okay. And um, I pretty much agree with you both. Uh, and for me in person during the winter months, you know, if, if the, this sounds silly, of course our winters lately have been fine, you know, for driving. Um, but I remember when I was on the select board and stuff, we had, and I, and three of us on Montague Road were on the board. I remember having to call somebody else to pick me up just because the weather was so bad and, you know, either, uh, anyway, I just, I, I, remote is my first choice and hybrid would be fine also, except for the cost to the town of, yeah, of having to set that up. Okay, I just wanted to get an idea. Maybe yeah. I should, maybe we should have done uh, started the meeting officially and done other well, stuff. Well, that's okay. That'll be the first agenda item. I guess there's one other okay. thing I do want to mention, in it, and that is, um, oh, I think I lost it. <laughs> I think I lost. <laughs> I did. I lost it. Um, there was it's one other come thing. Come back that, to you, George. Comes, Don't worry. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Anyways, that's one of the reasons why I like to be able to interrupt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't no, um, yeah, um, you know, oh yeah, I know what I was going to say, you know, when the select board's asking for our opinion on this, I think they're probably going to get different responses from different boards in mm -hmm. because they function differently. And I mm -hmm. think the way we function, this mm -hmm. is perfectly fine. And the point you made about um, being able to share our documents right here on the screen, it's actually easier than all the paperwork we have to print and bring to meetings. Right, yes. That's very true. Mm -hmm. So in the minutes, then I'm going to say that, how, what would you like me to say? The personnel board favors online meetings and feels that it's appropriate? Yes, I think so. Um, it's inappropriate for that. Mm -hmm. It's appropriate. Um, and our concern for the town, if a hybrid, hybrid works, sort of, but concern for the town as far as logistics and expense, you know, for hybrid. Um, right. So basically, the three of us <clears throat> really feel remote. It's, it works for our committee. Yeah, and in fact, I was yeah. hoping to work for Melissa tonight. If that um, if that's what it takes to get her in our meetings, like the last time yeah. she had to make the meeting, so she was on the phone. Yeah. She, that's so another, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for so let's uh, let's say we started the meeting. <laughs> And let's do the, uh, let's go over the minutes. Anybody have any change to the minutes that George provided? I didn't either. I just took, well, and I talked to George about it. He had me on originally on his being in the meeting, but I was absent. Yep, I fixed that. And, in and fact I, was in, uh, I was in the mountains of New Mexico where we couldn't get internet. Get it. it was sort of what it came and went. You know, we were very, you, like 50 you know, miles from the border. Can... I'm sorry, Becky, what? Which mountains were you in? Um, the Sandias? No? Where are you? South, south, um, 
darn, I can't think of it because we were right at the edge and we traveled through several different ranges. Well, the the first origin, the one that Leo Al, um, Al, Alpold, uh, it was named after him. He The very first uh, national forest was named after Aldo Leopold. And he... Mm -hmm. But it wasn't the it wasn't called the Aldo Leopold Forest. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Or the place we were staying was just outside, and we drove through there. I'll find I'm out. Curious and, you know. where you were. Yeah, well, I wish I could remember. Mike is the travel <laughs> guy. He does all that stuff. I do different stuff on the trips. That's terrible. I can't remember right now. Maybe I'll look it up while we're meeting. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, any uh, Anne, did you have anything to say about the minutes? Any nope. Questions? Look good to me. Okay. I make a motion that we approve the minutes. Second. Of April 25th. Okay. All uh, right. Arvinitis, aye. Ross, aye. Brigham, aye. Okay. So moving on. What's happening with the search for the administrative secretary? I actually got a phone call today. I'm oh, so excited and I'm on pins and needles waiting for uh, a resume to come in the email box. Um, she said she has experience and she lives close by. Um, Good. Well, but that's when, a start. It's, yeah. And she, so, Chris O didn't work out, huh? Who? Chris O didn't Chris, work out? Did he ever contact you? Yeah. All right. That's too bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I still might, but. Well, if he didn't do it by now, I mean, it was a, it's been almost a month. I yeah, Dylan said he was interested in, you know, somebody that I was re had referred to Becky, the, uh, a friend of a friend um, kind of thing. We, I, we were hopeful that we had somebody, but yeah, yeah. I guess he never oh, reached shoot. out to Becky. Because I, I did, you know, I've been, you know, I was asking people, you know, anybody who's looking for, you know, administrative job. Yeah, I don't. And tomorrow for three hours, um, Geneva's coming in to help with a little bit of paperwork. I asked if she could come in on Friday, and and this, she told me this morning she could make it from nine to noon. Well, a little bit helps. Hopefully, it'll help. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um... The police contract negotiations. Okay, so I have uh, forwarded. Uh, so the last communication from the Teamsters uh, representative was that the union wanted an agreement from the select board saying that they would um, put an article for a new um, private detail fund on the next special town meeting or annual town meeting warrant, whichever comes first. Um, because that was one of the agreements in the negotiated agreements. The select board agreed to that and has signed the paper and that's gone back to the union. So I'm now waiting on the union to put the full union contract together with a new language for the account for the private duty details. Um, does that have to, does the special town meeting have to happen before June 30th? No, no, that's why they wanted the agreement because it can't happen. Well, right. now it might happen. Shit. Sorry. Uh, you know, the library keeps creating interesting issues. Anyway, there's a, a slight possibility we might have a special town meeting before June 30th, <clears throat> but it's, oh. it depends on the bid opening of the library. So, so this was an issue, Becky, just to be clear, um, this was an issue that they had in the last negotiation and it's, be, it's coming from, and I think this is also educational for all of us. This is coming from the fact that officers do not get paid for road duty until we receive the funds from the organization that they did the duty for, like the utility company. And sometimes, and sometimes utility... that takes a long, long time. Exactly. So you're oh. familiar with that. Yes. That's Three the point. Right. So how would we 
So they want a special fund. We're they want $25,000 put in a fund. Um, and the reason that number is reasonable is people last summer were making up to $15,000 last mm -hmm. summer. And that's, we had three different officers involved. Um, so we're hopeful, and that's an extraordinary amount. We, you know, summer duty details um, sometimes don't even exist. But mm -hmm. this last year with the three phase power going in along Leverett and Wendell right. Road and Lox Pond Road, and there was endless work. People could have worked themselves. How's this summer looking, Becky? There is a new smaller project that I've heard about, but I don't know the extent of it. So it should be smaller, but there is a, a new project that was starting, is starting with the electric company. So that yeah, will- hope this, I'm sorry. So what this does is they were, some of the officers weren't getting paid for this private duty. It just dragged on and dragged on. And this it was way, delayed. They eventually got paid. Yeah. They eventually yeah. got paid, but they, you know, if they're doing the work in October, they're getting the money in January or February. Yeah. 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 By the way, you know, technically I think it's against the law because the state of Massachusetts, you have to pay somebody for their work they perform within a pretty short period of time, seven days or mm. something like that. Really? Yeah, no, there's, yeah, the state of Massachusetts has some pretty clear rules about that. I mean, I know we get paid biweekly. I forget exactly how it works, but I know when I was working in private business, there was an issue we always had. We had to make sure we paid our employees within a reasonable mm -hmm. amount of time. And Becky, do you want to, ex or have you talked with, uh, maybe last month you talked with folks when I wasn't here in those mountains, the range of which I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go. Mike's downstairs watching the news, so I want, I'm going to find out. Um, also, have you talked to them about how we um, changed the, we went into the oh, team? Gonna, don't say any more, Peg. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to talk over you. No, the, the rest of the contract has not been released except for that okay. one. So. Okay. Sorry. Forget I said that. Okay. No problem. I had didn't to say do anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, because we're almost home free where it'll be come up. It's not a public document until it goes to the select. Okay, okay. gotcha. Okay. It's only seen by the negotiators at this point. And until the final comes in, we have to stay. I mean, because it was an executive session. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. I didn't. Oh, no, that's okay. About that. Okay. Okay, moving on. Uh, status of the school union negotiations. I just sort of put that in there when passed it on to George, thought he'd edit it out if he wanted to. Um, what's going on? Because I missed that. Whole... Okay, number one, I can't give you any specifics about what is going on. The only thing I can tell you is we've scheduled two more meeting dates. And I believe we're meeting on Monday, this coming Monday, the 3rd. Uh, no, not Monday the 3rd. We're meeting on Wednesday the 5th uh -huh. with the school union and I think and possibly the 6th if we have to. And I think another date, I think the 20 something was also, but it's not on my calendar. So there's two more meeting dates. Okay. It is, and there's concern about it going into the summer. Okay. I'm sorry, how many more meetings? Two more meeting dates were set and there's concern um, about trying to, we're trying to, about getting it done before um, the school go, is in recess for summer break. Right. Which is June 18th, I think. I think their last, the last day of school is the 18th. So the teachers must go at Did least that Friday. Oh, wow. Jackie told me the 24th. Okay. Um, any other, uh, shall we move on to the final update of the personnel handbook? What? Are, how's that going now? Uh, Melissa has not um, sent anything forward to me. How are we going to get her? I, I, I don't mean to knock on I think on we her. have to just start. I, I just have to start fresh, I think. Well, why don't, why don't we get what she's done so far and see what we can do with it? 
I mean, she started it. She said she was pretty far along. She thought she'd Yeah, have it done she in November. did. She must have something. I'm sure she does. Yeah, it's... Well, at this point, and I, I have to say, George, there was a note in the agenda that said not a priority under the handbook, and I deleted that. It is a priority um, because we have not, you know, our, our employees are not getting any of our updated policies. Everything's being held back, and that's a priority. We have to get that out this summer. Um, it just has to get done right. because it what's kept getting moved down for various reasons. Distributing sexual discrimination, sure, uh, everything from 1960 or 80. It's ridiculous. Well, Becky, I just, I just, just to argue with you, um, the October, the October minutes, it says personal handbook policies, reviews, and updates. Draft expected to be presented to the board right. at the November meeting. And I remember with that and the classification study both. Uh, and April. that needs to be done too. And they, I think April, we have two more to do. And I, April really, I tried to reach out to her this week, and I mean last week, and that was a bad week. So, um, yeah, I'm I mean, just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. I remember in October they both said that they thought they could get it done from their project done for November, which leads me to believe they must have something. Well, I know Melissa, uh, April, and I worked like nine or 10 different sessions we are at the we're down to the last couple of thing, of classifications it's just once the budget hit and she started working again i haven't seen her again and you're um, not going to see her for two more weeks three weeks right so i'm um, good time to work on the handbook right <laughs> yeah, yeah ask melissa becky you might have more there than i i, I asked her that at a recent select board meeting and um so are the changes to the handbook from the current handbook substantial i think she was you know how melissa likes to make things very beautiful i, I think she was doing a lot of reformatting um as well so she's really good at that yeah i can i can see that and it's you know it's been a very she's it's been very hectic for her you know she's taken on a lot of new projects at work and the select board has not been quiet um so she's been out straight and I, if we can find a way to take that pressure off her i think it would be good okay so you so you're going to take that on becky yeah are you talking about the uh I'm going to get personal from Ann and Peg. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to help to the extent that I can, which I'm pretty busy in June, but. Okay, we'll get it done. I think I think this is one where, you know, she's very overworked already. Mm -hmm. so if we can find a way to start. How many... Sorry. I'm sorry, Becky. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just uh -huh. wanted to ask how many hours do you think are left? I have no idea. Okay. Because I um, I now have, the one thing that can help and I didn't have before um, was I didn't have a software that could change PDFs into Word documents. Um, and now I do. So that's, otherwise I couldn't tackle this job. Um, and that's where Melissa really, is great at the PDFs and yes. working with them. So, but I think we can get a start and then maybe it, she can jump in here and there with changes that others might not be able to make or that she wants that aren't done, um, but give, give her a running start. I think. Yeah. And it, you know, if she gives you something electronically and you're having trouble with it, I might be able to take a crack at it too. Okay. You know, Thank like you. I said, I'm willing to help. I, I I understand the urgency, and we've been talking about this for a while. So, would it be helpful to have we have to, to be able to? Would it be helpful to say we have to have this done by August thirty no. first? It needs to be done. No, that doesn't that doesn't work. It didn't work when we did November. No, that's right. That, true, true. Yeah. yeah, I do remember we put it off to November because other stuff was happening. Well, stuff keeps happening, I guess. You know, and it gets and we only meet once moved a month. down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 
So Becky, you're going to sort of try to gently nudge her and see how things go. And George might be, might be able to participate somehow. Certainly if, if I can, to the extent okay. I can. And don't forget the part where you and Anne are going to help too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> However, we I'm can. happy to. So I think, Becky, you're going to try to just get Melissa to hand it over to us, right? Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to depend, you know, I'm going to look at turning it into a PDF and what I have in my notes that needs to get done. I'm just, and start there and um, see if we can, you know, if she has more than that done great if not we'll just take it from there okay that sounds great thank you yes okay um i'm looking at future business oh can somebody talk to me about reviewing i sort of missed out on this i think when i was gone in that forest Review hiring practices for police and fire department employees. That's in the future. We have that down for future business. I missed the discussion on that, I think, or not. Yeah, that came up in the last meeting. Yeah. What about the hiring practices? How do we need to review the practices for police and fire department employees? Becky, oh. wasn't that? Go ahead, George. No, I was going to say, wasn't that something you brought up? Yep. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure part of the issue. So I think the, the part of the issue is we have two strong chiefs and then you have the select board is the appointing authority. So I think everything is working pretty well. Um, we, our strong chiefs are very caring about the select board and the community. So they're happy with this process that we've kind of set up where um, when they have a candidate, we have a small uh, group of residents and, uh, and the chief and myself meet with the officer and do an interview just to get a sense of the person because for both, especially for police, um, there's a very different kind of yeah, having making sure that the sensibilities fit into a small community is is pretty important, and it just gives the chiefs feedback on their officers that I think I think is important because over time the the biggest personnel issues have been uh, hiring somebody that's not a fit for our town. So it matters. Um, and I think that's going pretty well. The other thing is um, these two departments, unlike other departments, do Corey checks. And we have, um, so it's the police do the Corey checks and they've traditionally done them for the fire department as well. Um, Mary Ann also does Corey checks, but they're a very different kind of Corey checks. It's just, um, she can call in just like the school does. And it's a, you know, it does, it's a different range of Corey. It's not as in depth. Yeah. Because of the level of the responsibility. Yeah. And part of my questioning, and I guess the reason I brought it up is my question is more about where the authority of a strong chief or a strong, yeah, strong chiefs and the select board. Wow. I don't know, and, you know, that's what I was thinking about, but I don't know from reading the statute, I haven't really figured out if there's any conflict in authority the way we do it. Well, can you explain the term strong oh. chief? Okay, strong chiefs means that the only role the select board has is to make an appointment and I'm not 100% clear if they can refuse to make an appointment recommended by a strong chief. It's, I haven't experienced it. I've never, because <laughs> everybody's worked together well, um, but I don't know what the 
you know, what the law is on that. And I guess that's a question for Labor Council, but maybe not. I just want to make sure that we're appropriately, everybody's authority is is being appropriately exercised and nobody's stepping on somebody else. So should we keep this on as a topic for discussion or do we, do we just sort of wait until we hear more from you on that? I guess I'll try to find out from, you know, when, when there's an opportunity with legal counsel to see if I can get an answer from them. Okay, so we'll sort of wait, you know, not put it on the agenda until we hear more from you about that. Okay, sounds okay. good. Uh, moving on, how are we doing here? Doing great, oh. 706. Yeah, you know, April's not here to talk about the classification schedule. Mm -hmm. How about the status and result of the select board employee contract negotiations? That was, is that far in the future at this point or? No, actually. We have that down for future business. There was two, right, Becky? There was town administrator and what was the other one? Uh, the union. So ha do you have a contract? Does the town administrator now have a new contract? No. It's still happening. Wow. Okay. Can you tell us when it might happen? No. Okay, fine. Okay, well that, that answers that question. <laughs> Who knows? Keep us posted. Please let us know. Yes, yes, in the future, keep us posted. For the future okay and that's okay now i'm going to go real quick and find out from mike the name of the forest <laughs> Wait, you... peg were you by las cruces where were no. you no we were north of silver city oh yeah. you were I've north there. of you were in the gila uh oh yes. Becky's yes. favorite yep yeah, you were in the Gila. That's my, when I first yes, went. Yes, 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 that's it. I don't have to go ask Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Gila is um, yeah. in southwestern New Mexico, and it does go all the way to the Arizona border. Mm -hmm. And Silver City is like on the edge where you start into the forest. Right, and we were just north. We stayed at this lovely uh, it was wonderful. We found, Mike had found online. He does all the trips. We stayed in this lovely group of casitas de Gila. Yeah, there you go, Gila National Forest. And they were lovely. Hey. We, were, we were isolated. It was, uh, the birding was great. Mike's a rock hound. The rock hound was great. We had, it was a 270 acre spread and only five casitas total. Wow. wow. And so you went right from the view of our uh they call them they don't call it a porch a portal it's not a patio it's a portal and right down below us was this lovely full um always a full running stream that was it was a small it was a stream not a river green 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 and if you came up the hill to where we were um it was you know typical southwest red dirt red clay. yeah you can uh, see where uh, the rivers are because they're lined by trees. Yes, cottonwood <laughs> trees. It was gorgeous. Oh, and they you know, the, the, the colors in the fall. They're so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And you sort of, we could, anyway, so we had access to this river because we love birding. And Mike Mike was looking up at birds and looking down at rocks, looking up at birds <laughs> rocks. And the guy who owns the place, the guy and his wife, he was a geologist, he a trained geologist, and he's a rock hound also. Wow. So they had a lot of fun talking about rocks. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. And it was great. It was just great. It was a beautiful place. I would highly recommend it if you need to just get away and yeah. be in a quiet. Oh, and the other thing is the night sky. No oh, light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh no my God. Light. The so it's stars. Yeah. Like Oh my. You, you, know, you, there's, you can't see constellations. There's too many stars. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and there's forget... a little telescope. There's a little telescope in each little casita. Oh, that's great. It was wonderful. It was. I remember I being in the Tetons. 
and they yeah. were diamonds. Yeah, they were just diamonds. Mm -hmm. I, I was blown away. Yeah, it was great. We're hoping to go back next year. We'll see. Nice. Yeah, that's our plan. But now the that you remem remembered Gila, I won't have to go back. <laughs> I have friends who went to the Gila. They were there. Um, they like the mountain bike. They like the hike. And um, they said, we just drove down a dirt road. We just pulled to the side and we set up camp. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have to, didn't yeah. reservations. Didn't need to tell anybody. There was no traffic. Just anywhere we yeah. wanted. Good hiking, too. Yeah. yeah. We didn't do a whole lot of hiking, but it, we might do more when we go back. So. Good for I you. That sounds great. that owned a... Uh, uh, thousand acre ranch right on the border of Mexico um just outside well I guess he was about 50 miles from Silver City in this little town named Glenwood and he, so he had this beautiful house it looked like a little I mean it was modern but it was built around a courtyard mm -hmm. and um it was a ranch and he asked me to do some I went out to caretake for it for a month um, when he was, you know, like when I was in my 20s. And when I was out, the, you know, I had a sawed off shotgun. I used mm -hmm. to rattle a sawed off shotgun. Yeah. It was that that's what my I my job was to kill the squirrels to keep them from eating the tree. Oh, that's what it was for. I was gonna say, was it the Wild West? <laughs> you know, the squirrels. Here I was. <laughs> yes. I was right on the catwalk that goes up into the mountains that um, it's this ancient trail and it, it's, but they, they had built this catwalk. So it was a touristy area sort of, for, but for people that really were out on the edge of things. And it was, you know, there were a lot of rattlesnakes and scorpions. I, I shot three rattlesnakes. Um, one was in, un, you know, I had to wait for it to get out of the garage because I didn't want to destroy the garage. <laughs> you want to shoot the garage? It was quite an adventurous time being oh. out there. It was so beautiful. Wow. And then wow. Silver City. And then it turned out later that summer, I met my husband and, you know, we ended up getting married. And his family was from that, from the Gila. His grandfather was a silver miner in the wow. Gila. Oh. And they live near Truth or Consequences, but he yep. went Other to the east. Into the mountains and hid all <laughs> the silver he found. So we used to, you know, think we would go back and try to find all his silver, but we didn't get there. <laughs> you then you could retire. Yeah, except the silver prices were way down then. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> if it was gold, we would have been there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I love anyway. the West. Love that's the West. Dabbling, but yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful, amazing area. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys were there. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember that. It was just the block. It happens as you get older, folks. Believe me. These oh, I believe you. I already know. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway, so do we have any other? Any well, the other? only thing I wanted, the only thing I wanted to raise was, um, so we've got June twentieth is our next meeting and july 18th in the subsequent month i'm not going to be able to make june 20 mm -hmm. and i'm probably not going to be able to make june 27 either and i'm not going to be able to make july 4th so you know i don't know if it matters that i'm here or not but i just want yeah. to yeah so should we go maybe what do you folks think about june 13 well, are we going to have any will we need to yeah any Maybe oh, I actually can't. I can't do the thirteenth. But how about we skip June? Yes, I was and just try to that. make sure we have something to work with on the classification and manual for the July meeting. Okay, that'll be our reward for working hard is not to have sure. a meeting. In June. <laughs> I like that, and hopefully <laughs> we can accomplish something for real. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's I was going to say. April that her July meeting is in my office. I mean, her June meeting is in my office to finish up. There you go. I like okay. that. So how about a scheduling an August meeting? Not, uh, a July, not July 11th? Is that, George, did you say you're out of town? Uh, I, I, um, no, I can make July 18th. 
July 18 is the third. Let me find July. July 18 is the third um, Thursday. I can make that. But I was just saying we should schedule beyond July. That's what. I'll oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure. I, about we don't that. have to, but I just was. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? Since it's summer and there's so much going on, why don't we just do July and see at that point what we can do for August? I'm one one person that I'm not sure about August yet. I mean, everybody's got stuff happening. Okay, that's fine. You want to do that? Is that okay? And mm -hmm. Anne, Becky, yep, and Becky. Yep, that's okay. okay. Yep, that okay. works for me. Okay, so let's go with July 18, and we'll go from there. That sounds good. All right. And I'm okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna cross out personnel board for the 20th of June, and I'm gonna email Melissa and tell her what we're doing, and. So she has the July 18th date. Okay. Trying to meet in June. And let us know, you know, when you do, when you do, let it, would you let us know or let me know and I'll get in touch with people if it, if it doesn't work for her. If July 18th doesn't work for Melissa. Okay. Yeah. Let's try and get a commitment from her. Right. It's just been hard. I know her job is demanding, um, Let's yeah. just assume, let's all assume, all three of us and Becky, that we'll go for July 18 and assume that Melissa hopefully can, hopefully can. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll help if I let her know the date now. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Becky, um, on that note, you know, I know on the finance committee, uh, first meeting of July, we always assign uh, different members to different committees. That's right. Is the select board going to be doing that in the beginning of July? They do. I put it on the agenda at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, is it possible that it's just this is not a convenient meeting for her and there are other meetings she might be able to do and somebody else could? I'm not saying that I want Melissa not to be in this committee. I like working with Melissa and she does. She definitely I, does a great job. Let's on that um, and um, until she can feedback. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't want to put pressure on her either, you know, um, right. but it, so, she's... I, we can just wait on that yeah. um, and see, because the select board will have a conversation about it. Okay. Okay. And George, can you continue to be on the personnel board? Is there any conflict with that? No, not for me. Once a month is fine. Okay. It's it's not it's not taxing. Okay. All right. Um, Sounds good. And Anne, are you dog walking tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, well, don't I worry. Think, I'll know. text you if I do. Okay. All right. So I made. I, I have one more thing to tell okay. you guys. So oh. I told the finance committee. So George already knows. But for the June eleventh, um, if I can get the announcement out, we're having a committee bake off contest, which basically means if one person on the committee makes something. Um, that would be excellent. And then we'll have a contest. We'll vote who made the best something from which. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And this is, mm. this is a way for the select board trying not to have to spend any money, <laughs> but is... I think it would be fun. You, sometimes we've gotten donuts for the all boards meeting, but if we have banquets, I think it would be, it would be nice. And a little competition is always good. What do you think? Okay. I'll I'll make something. I'll and if George and Ann, if you want to come to that meeting on June eleventh, feel free. Well, I'll be there for finance committee and I oh, might bring something baked for the finance committee. Oh. Not that I'm baking it. Let's be clear, it won't be me baking it. But <laughs> my wife doesn't she likes to bake, so I'm sure she'd be happy to do it. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Excellent. And I've got to get that this message out to the rest of the committees. It's so much easier to do it in person, though. Okay. Well, I'll bring something. And I, oh, good. I'll bring my I'll appetite. Bring <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'll see so you. Does that mean we have to? How many boards are there? Does that mean we have to taste a little bit from every board? It'll be a lot. It'll be a lot. <laughs> Or we'll see what actually happens. Yeah. But some people might want to might want plead that they thought it was a Zoom meeting. So and uh, 
did three dimensional biscuits or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's your cut again. Digital biscuits. Yeah. Oh. oh okay, my. I'm gonna move that we adjourn the meeting. I'll all second. right. Second. All those all in favor? Arvin I say. Oh. Nope. Nope. Fine. You're fine. No, we on the rec committee, everyone just raises their hand. So I was like on the Okay. And the reason Cross you can't you tell them to that it's important to say your names because the I issue is if somebody's on the phone, they don't know you raised your hands. Okay. That's why you go through a roll call vote. Okay. I will share that, Becky. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. See you all on June 11th. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night.